Right now we're in the transition zone, which is Kansas City, specifically in Raymore, Missouri, at the golf club at Creekmore. The golf course is comprised of 18 championship holes, probably the longest golf course in Kansas City, uh, one of the most challenging golf courses in Kansas City. Probably have the longest golf hole in Kansas City at 663 yards long, which is our hole number nine, which we also call the beast. What I have here is a, a very nice specimen of yellow nuts edge, and obviously you can see it's, it's quite robust, uh, 14, 16 inches maybe in, in length, and I, one of the unique attributes with any of your sedges out there are they tolerate a wide variety of mowing heights. So you have this plant, um, you may have a plant that would tolerate mowing at a fairway height or even a tee height, which, which makes that part of the, the problem when trying to maintain a, a course like this. We've had a partnership with PBI Gordon for years. Uh, recently with the development of Archon, uh, we've done uh, quite a bit of trials out here and have, have killed a lot of uh, nuts edge at Creekmore. So over the past few years, we've done trials in numerous different places, including in our native, in our rough, and Archon has proved to be just a phenomenal killer of, of yellow nuts edge. Archon is a very different and very novel formulation compared to other products on the market that are targeting that sedge and Kalinga weed. There is also another class of chemistry that's out on the market that has a tendency to go in and burn very quickly the sedge and Kalinga, resulting in regrowth. Archon, contrary to that, gets into the plant, begins to get uptake in the plant through the foliar and the root tissue, leading to a slower necrosis and ultimately the decline of the weed population that's targeted. I've never seen nutsedge grow back from what I've killed. If I've sprayed it, it's not come back. I've seen Archon really decrease the populations of nutsedge, and we've only sprayed it a few times out here at Creekmore because it basically just came out for trials on golf courses. But what I have sprayed has significantly reduced the populations, and in some cases, completely killed everything I sprayed. After an application of Archon, you're gonna see activity within about seven days after that application. Uh, what you're gonna notice first is a reduced uh, desire to grow vertically. So when you mow a, an area of turf grass or whatever, you're not gonna see that sedge shoot right back up above your, your mowed turf grass. I was surprised after seven days that I was seeing something. I've been told that it can be up to 14 days before you see anything. I saw it probably kill uh, nuts edge faster than I've ever seen nuts edge killed. You can make an application, whether it's spring, summer, fall. Uh, the, the ability to tank mix Archon is, is very unique in the industry where if you want to tank mix that with another broadleaf herbicide that you happen to be going out with, uh, if you want to tank mix fertility in with it, it is, it is very robust in the sense that you can fit Archon really into your program any time of the year. I'm really excited to use it all over the golf course, not just in the rough, not just in the fairways, but also on bent grass, not only the tees, but the greens as well.